Hello and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. Hi, this is Rachel Barnett from Gentle Frog. In this video, I want to show you how to apply a customer payment. What makes this different from a different customer payment is that I, it's uh, a customer with sub-customers or a customer with jobs. So in this example, I've got a customer that has two invoices. If I click on job A, you'll see that's one of the invoices. And if I click on job B, you'll see that's the other invoice. I really want you to know how to apply the payment if customer A sends you money for both jobs. So simply put, there's a couple ways. You can go new transaction, payment. So you have a customer, you have the payment date, you have the payment method. We'll say that it's check, uh, check number one, two, three, and then I'm gonna deposit to my checking account. And what is the total amount of money that my make-believe customer has paid me? Uh, let me see if this will work, 129, yeah, it does. Because um, I didn't look to see what uh, what they totaled before I started this video. So in Make Believe Land, I got a check for 328, which covers invoice number 1007 for job A and 1008 for job B. And it's being paid by a customer, the parent customer for both. Let me go ahead and select Save and Close. When I select save and close, you can see that all of this information is contained under a customer. If I were to go to job A, I just see that it's paid. If I go to job B, I just see that it's paid. If I wasn't already here at the customer list where I could easily click on new transaction on the right, the other way I could go to mark it as paid is in the upper left hand corner. I could click on plus new. I could go to receive payment. And then this will take me to the screen where I was just at, and I can pick the appropriate customer. Let me go ahead and cancel out of this. One thing, since I'm here, that you might find a little bit distracting or perhaps confusing is that you can see invoice 1008. You can see that it's paid, but you don't see any payment here at all. If this ever happens to you and you say, my goodness, how is that paid? You can figure that out by clicking on the invoice, going to one payment made in the upper right hand corner, clicking on the date, and now you can see, oh, the payment is linked to the customer called a customer. That's why I don't see it when I look at my specific sub customer. I hope this has been helpful. If you wanna see a blog with step-by-step -step instructions, including pictures, we'll go ahead and put a link to the blog in the notes for this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please don't hesitate to let us know. You can reach us at gentlefrog.com or you can put a comment down below. Thank you so much.